working with civil 3D, if I hit control three, we have typical sections, how we can build those sub-assemblies. Now, remember, I talked about at the beginning, there's a lot involved in terms of using these. So uh, the first thing that I would do, I'm going to create my own typical section. And then from that, we're going to see that we can have a library of typical sections also. So the first thing that I'm going to do is on the corridors, I'm going to create an assembly. This assembly, I talked about the anatomy of a corridor. So this assembly, I'm going to select OK. We'll put the assembly like right here underneath. And I'm just going to add something really simple, like basic lanes. So this is just going to be some pavement. So I'm not going to require much. I'm going to say basic lane. It's going to be to the right side. It's going to be 12 feet wide, negative 2% slope. I just pick my assembly. That creates that lane. It has the shape, it has the link, and it has the point code, anatomy of an assembly. Okay, for a typical section. So from that, if I move that out the way, um, from that, I'm gonna do basic curve and gutter. We can change the parameters in terms of our basic curve and gutter, how we wanna lay out that design for our typical section. I'm just gonna come right here and select that point code. And then from that, we're going to do a basic shoulder. So here's my basic shoulder. From that basic shoulder, I'm going to give you some parameters. So it says a width of six. You know, I'm driving a width of three. I'm driving down the road. Um, typically, I can't even see a shoulder on the side. So I'm going to say my shoulder is going to be five feet. And it's going to slope towards the road. So we're going to take off this negative. And then I'm just gonna select this top point code. There's my shoulder. And then for all intents and purposes, this basic side cut slope and ditch puts in a stitch and cut. It puts in a daylight and feel. So if I went to help just to kind of show you really quickly, it's gonna show me parameters in terms of those features. And I can just put in specific a keyword in terms of that daylight assembly. Okay, so I'm going to pick basic size slope ditch, and then I'm just going to accept all these parameters. So cut slope, fill slope, four slope, and bottom width. So I'll just pick it. So that gives me half of my symmetrical row in terms of my assembly. So I'll hit escape twice. I'll highlight half of my, uh, my assembly. And then I'll just go right up here and select mirror. When I select mirror, I'll pick on it. And there's my typical section. So as an example, I'm gonna right click and go to assemblies. And I'm gonna say, this is assembly one. I'm going to select control three. I'm going to go to my assemblies tab and I'm going to say, okay, well, I'm going to do one with a basic assembly, basic lane transition. I can have a library of these things. So I'll pick on it. There's my basic. It has a sidewalk and curb and gutter. Okay. So that assembly, I'm going to hit escape twice. And I'll just pick on it. Right click and go into assembly properties. And that's going to be called transition. So I can give those names if I wanted to. Right now, I just have the three essential ingredients to build a corridor. So from that, we'll take a look at our first role in terms of a corridor. Um, something simple. And if we look here, we have this like knuckle. Um, part two, we may get into knuckles and doing cul-de-sacs, things like that. As of right now, we're just thinking about this corridor, something simple. So if I go to corridor, create a corridor, I'm gonna create a corridor based upon an alignment and a profile. It's alignment one, I can select my alignment, I'm gonna pick it, I already know this alignment here is three. When I pick on that, 
And that's why naming becomes critical. So I want to be able to kind of address what beginners are looking at and what those who have experience in terms of building these. So the profile for alignment three, And we'll just go up here and we'll select this profile because something is going on here. So alignment three, we'll select this profile. It says profile is not associated with the current. Uh oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, no wonder. We don't have a profile and nobody said anything. So we'll come in here and whip it in right quick. So we'll go to profiles, create by layout, because we're going to do a long row. We're going to call this finish grade. So things that a typical person is going to run into, we're going through. Um, for the most part, we'll use complete set. We'll start from our existing ground in terms of where our horizontal alignment is. So I'll pick there, and we'll just come up a little bit here. Come over here, come here. I won't get too crazy. We'll just zoom in and we'll pick right there. So there's our profile. So we'll go back up here to corridors, create a corridor. From that, we're going to put up alignment three, finish grade one, assembly one. We're going to target our existing round surface in terms of daylighting. It's going to bring that up, but we're going to select okay and it's going to ask me to rebuild my corridor so i'm going to do it so there's my corridor it's that green funky looking thing if i pick on it i right click and go to optic viewer so one of the things i always kind of take a look at is what this is looking like in 3d so i'm going to zoom into a specific area and then hold my shift key down and then i can look at what i built in terms of my corridor Pretty straightforward. And I zoom in here. So there's my corridor. And we'll make that a little bit bigger. I got two lanes. I got cut. I got feel. I got my shoulders. So I got some daylighting in there. So that's building a corridor. That's a corridor model. Ultimately, what we want to get from that corridor model is a surface. So I just go right here, pick on my quarter model, and go to surfaces. From the surface, we want to do the top link. We want to add in that top so we can create a quarter surface. And I'm going to say row. And then from that, we're going to add the top. We always want to use it as a break line. In terms of overhang, we're going to do the top link. If I was doing some quantities, now I need to add a datum in there, which is required to go from the top to the bottom of my sub assembly in terms of my lane. So we're just doing the top, and I talked about a boundary. So I'll pick on it, roll boundary, corridor extends. So I'm OK, rebuild my corridor. And if I hit escape now, I've built a surface model for my corridor. If I go to 